Hey guys, it's Dom from mobiledom.co.uk and this is the August 15th update for Ubuntu Touch. Alright, let's get to it. Alright, like I said, once a month, every month, I will be testing the Ubuntu Touch developer preview. And like I said, every other month, it just gets better and better. And I, I don't know how to say it any other ways I'm actually currently saying it. Ubuntu Touch is just, it's great. I mean, <laughs> it's just so good. Um, so I said, as I will with every other month, I'm going to just list a couple things that are good and a couple things that are bad. Uh, as usual, this is a lot smoother and a lot faster, and a lot of the hiccups that plagued previous ones have gone. Uh, it always a, it's a bit buggy here and then. It will snap it like if I turn it off. Well, if I turn it off and then I try to knock it, sometimes it like judges opening and then it's like really slow for a bit but oh, I've got no open apps but still uh, so it's a lot faster and it's a lot smoother which is a major plus for me because it's one of the few things that kind of bugged me I mean the last one wasn't too bad but still uh, what else uh, if we go to apps and we scroll down a bit if we notice here there's an actual contacts app now so that's always good uh, like I said I just jumped in and I created a few uh, fake contacts. So I've got Eric Schmidt, Koosh, which is uh, the guy from Clockwork Mod, Larry Page, Scott Johansson, Sergey Brin, Tim Cook, Tony Stark, Twitter and Twitter. Um, like I said, so that it's nice to have an actual uh, contacts app instead of having to go to the phone app and then go into contacts here. And they do still show up here, but it's kind of nice having your own dedicated app. Uh, next is uh, it's pretty a pretty cool one which I probably should save for the end but I can't bother because I'll usually forget even though I've got it on notes. It has a system updater so if that if that'll focus I'm not sure. It says update phone, checking latest available system version if I like. Okay, let's see, where's battery? Just jump the screen all the way down. There you go. Checking oh a new version is available. Well this is this is awkward because, well, like I said, this wasn't here before I shot the video, and it is here now. So, um, well, I'll <laughs> I'll apply this after the video, but yeah. All right, what next? Uh, there's actually a file manager, and it's a pretty file manager, and it it looks like it's come straight from the Unit Unity desktop. It's got the same icons, it's the same theme. Uh, so I can go documents, there's nothing here, up, actions, options, God, it's, it's an Ubuntu file manager, it's, I don't know how to say it guys, it's just absolutely brilliant, um, like I said, you can see this, it's not exactly slow, oh, there's no, oh, there, see, there's one bug, <laughs> that's more my fault than anything else. Uh, what else? Aha, yes, so something I mentioned in the last update is this, there's, it doesn't seem to be a contacts, I think they're called lenses, which are these like the, the home pages. Whereas before there was five, there was uh, music, there was music, people, home, apps, and then video. The people one is now gone, so it goes music, home, apps, and then video. And that, uh, some people speculated it's because I had no contacts in before. Obviously, as you just saw, there are contacts, and there's still no contacts lens. Um, what else? Uh, this is kind of cool. If I go to, a fact, apart from the fact there's now a system setting app, uh, I'm going to go back from the updates here. Uh, accounts. Now, I've got Twitter. I also had a Facebook one set up, but apparently that's not working. Now, this ties into, where is it? This app here. Friends, and this is kind of like a social aggregator. Uh, it's so it's a timeline based. It's basically like a built-in Twitter app, but it's not just Twitter aggregates lots of different things. Uh, and I can like top. Uh, I can jump to the top. So if I'm like halfway down, stop there. Uh, I can jump back to the top if it will work. And there we go. That's to the top. I can refresh it, and I can also post to Twitter when it wants to work, wow. Tell you what, nothing wants to work today. 
It's always when you want it to and it doesn't work. Let's try uh, force close. Well, not force closing, but let's let's close all the apps. Open up Friends again. I just realised I don't know how much of that was off camera, guys. I'm just going to move the camera down a little bit so it's more in my um, view here. So here is this. Uh, jump up. So post. Here we go. All right, uh, posting from the friends app in, where's at? At Ubuntu, if I can type. <laughs> this is a lot difficult than seen from behind camera. There you go. Uh, posting from the friends app in Ubuntu Touch. La 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 la. See, I've seen this a lot lately. This is a nice loading screen. It's kind of like the circle of friends, but in a loading icon. And it's pretty, but I'm kind of seeing it a bit too much for my liking uh, at the moment, especially on a device like the Nexus 4 with 2 gigs of RAM and a quad-core processor. That's incredibly capable. Oh, no, now, see, there we go. Now it's actually done. So if I went over to my computer and had a look, there's a tweet from me saying, posting from the Friends app in Ubuntu Touch, and I realised I put two Ts in that by accident. Um, right, let's go back home, right to the top. Now, one of the annoying things in this build is Wi-Fi is incredibly buggy. So I've actually turned off and put my SIM in here. I took it out of, to my SIM card out of the Zoppo ZP980 and I had to chuck it in here just to get mobile data working. If I turn on uh, Wi-Fi here, see, look, now it's, I don't know if you could see that. Oh, there you go, I turned it back on. Um, my Wi-Fi network, it'll do this. Then, like I said, it would do the loading screen with a circle of friends, and I literally had it standing here for like, well, not standing. I had it sitting on my table doing that, trying to get the password box to pop up for about half an hour. So in the end, I just chopped my SIM in here and turned Wi-Fi off because it wasn't, it wasn't working. Uh, I haven't been able to confirm this is a, uh, a bug in this build, but like I said, for me, it is most definitely a bug. Uh, keyboard incredibly buggy. Even oh, sorry, about to kick the tripod. Yeah, it's incredibly. And again, <laughs> incredibly buggy. Like I said, I went to add... No, that's an RSS reader. Uh, I went into the system settings to try and add an account. I said I tried to add Facebook. Add account, Facebook. Uh, apart, like I said, for, apart from it staying on this, like I said, when I first started this up, it would take... Oh, I don't know. It would take a rather long time just for it to come to this. It took a lot longer before. And that is uh, for me to log into... Uh, Facebook and before I'm not sure it's going to do it here if I tap this to get the keyboard <laughs> obviously it works on video um, I tap the keyboard and nothing would show up and then I tap to type in a password and again nothing would pop up but apparently apparently it is now because I'm trying to show off a fault on video and it's not working uh, what else uh, there's still no haptics in the keyboard which is something that severely pisses me off because I apparently can't type without haptic feedback which I should be, be getting better at, seeing as the amount of phones I play with, but you'd be incredibly wrong. Um, and there is still, still no SMS app. Uh, you have to go to the phone app, tap up here, and then go to conversations. This is the only way to get to uh, conversations. And like I said, as you can see here, it's just a little bit buggy. There's still not a lot of... Um, I'm trying to say this nicely. It's not very fleshed out. That, that's the nice way of putting it. It's not very fleshed out. Uh, yeah, that's it. But as far as like responsiveness goes, I'm apart from the odd one here and there, I'm not having I'm not having any of the. Oh, wait a sec. Look, this. Uh, uh, I don't know if you just saw it there. That pop up there uh, is from the friends app. I mean, which means someone had tweeted me back. Uh, I haven't quite found a way to get to like accounts and stuff because I can't swipe anywhere but um, I can't really find a way to check my messages because if I just go around here these all seem to just be text messages so looks like I have to check that on the computer but um, if I go back to uh, home and then apps apps like the terminal is still here uh, Unity Launcher which is uh, not really here, it's kind of there. There's a Sudoku, not really here. Uh, stock ticker, I tried to open the stock ticker and it just was a white screen. Uh, notes, again, still here, it's a notes app. Uh, blah, blah, blah. There you go, it's a new note, types where. 
Yeah. There we go. Now we've got two blank notes, and then you swipe them off the screen. You don't do it that way. Now I've got to try and find notes again. There it is. And then you swipe to clean it off the screen. Uh, what else? Uh, Twitter and Facebook are still just links to the, the mobile sites. So if I uh, do that, apart from it taking a while because it's the janky Twitter mobile site, um, it's going to eventually show up. Uh, if I go back at uh, Gmail. Now this is nice. Uh, the first couple of builds of the one two touch I tested, whenever I tried to access Gmail, it'd give me the horrible old um, Gmail mobile view from like what looked like 1953. <laughs> but um, uh, Ubuntu must have done something to the rendering engine in the browser, and now it's all nice and pretty and smart and like smooth, and apparently it's not loading on video when I want to show you something. See, this <laughs> this is why you shouldn't get your hopes up. Here it is. There we go. So like I said this is a lot more like the iOS one. So now actually like pull to refresh. Obviously what I want to show you isn't working. But go back again. There you go. Like pull and now you get the nice Google refresh bubbles. So I got an email from Nick Carroll on Google Plus because I asked about people. I asked people on Twitter and Google Plus if there was anything they wanted me to include whilst doing this video. So if I just uh, close all this down and on my other phone, <laughs> I can read you the message that Nick sent me. So, uh, sorry guys, you have to be a bit patient here. Uh, he said, is there a way to connect a monitor or an HDTV HD now? Does that functionality exist yet? I don't recall the Nexus 4 having video out and I doubt Miracast functionality is there yet on Ubuntu Touch. Maybe something to look into at least. Now, he's kind of right there. The Nexus 4 does have video out, but it's not standard. Unfortunately, most um, most smartphones use MHL, which is the Media High Definition Link, and it is good, and it's used almost everywhere. And they just disguise it as part of the USB port, and everyone is happy and none the wiser. Uh, it's not like the old days where you had a micro USB and then a micro HDMI. No, now it's basically all just built into there. Unfortunately, LG, just liking to be incredibly awkward, have not used MHL in this. They've used something called Slimport HDMI. I'm not sure why they used it. I'm not sure it's any better, but hey, they used it. And I haven't gotten around to ordering a um, a Slimport HDMI cable because they cost £20 each, which is a bit dear for a cable that I probably won't even be using that often. But um, I'm probably going to succumb to it and buy it as soon as Convergence comes out because I'm not, I'm not even sure Convergence is properly here yet. So I'm going to message a couple more guys at Ubuntu and see if I actually get an answer. Um, what else? Calendar? Not calendar. Calculator. It's been a, a little bit redesigned. It looks still looks nice. My standard equation, I don't know any why, is that if I can actually read. 120 divided by 4 equals... Oh, there's apparently 12 divided by 4. Um, 120 divided by 4 is 30. Um, I don't know why, but that is my... That's the equation I like to do. And then you can put like notes here. So this is, um, I don't know, taxes. Uh, keyboard, go away. There it is. So you can have like taxes there. And that like, pull to start a new calculation and then release. And then again, it's that. Again, you, you swipe in from the side to get the, the quick action bar. And I'll, I'll like the new animation. So if I just, let it all just kind of concertinas. There we go. Uh, and again, swipe in a little bit just to get the bar and there's a home button on the bottom. Say if I'm in like Facebook, uh, I swipe in there and then if I carry on swiping I get back home. Obviously if I swipe in from that side that always works as kind of like back slash multitasking button I can just carry on running through. Uh, running apps, tap and hold and you close them like this. Now, let's, pardon me guys, this is uh, a bunch of touch. This is the August 15th build. This is the latest build out. Apart from the system update, you, you saw me there yet. But um, I must say the system update thing is so massive I can't even like get you guys to understand. Because earlier versions of Ubuntu, if you wanted to up, uh, Ubuntu Touch, if you wanted to upgrade it, you have to uh, wipe the phone and start all over again. And you couldn't do it without a computer. Now they actually have, they have OTA updates on the phone itself. That's a big thing, guys. So like I said guys, this is the Ubuntu Touch developer preview for August 15th. My, you, 
if I can speak English. Uh, I'm Dom from mobiledom.co.uk. That is the website. You can get me on Twitter, which is twitter.com forward slash mobile underscore Dom. You can circle me on Google+, Plus, which is gplus.to forward slash Domenico Lamberti. And if you want a consultation for a phone or tablet, the email address for that is domenico at mobile-dom.co.uk. Until next time, guys, toodle pip.